Melinda Coleman, the mother of the late sexual assault survivor and advocate Daisy Coleman, died by suicide on Sunday. The tragic news comes just four months after Daisy, who appeared in the 2016 documentary Audrey and Daisy, died by suicide at age 23. Daisy was strong in the beginning, but then it just starts to wear you down, and she just got really into a dark place. Safe Bay, the sexual assault prevention organization Daisy co-founded prior to her death, shared the news of Melinda's passing on Instagram Sunday night, writing, quote, We are in shock and disbelief to share with our Safe Bay family that we lost Melinda Coleman to suicide this evening. The bottomless grief of losing her husband, her son Tristan, and Daisy was more than she could face most days. The post went on to remember Melinda as a gifted veterinarian, devoted mother and wife, and talented bodybuilder. More than anything, she loved and believed in her children. It is no accident that she created some of the most gifted, passionate, and resilient children. Our hearts are forever with Logan and Charlie. Logan and Charlie are Melinda's surviving sons. You begin to believe that all these bad things they're saying about you are actually true. So your image of yourself completely changes and you kind of become a shell of yourself. You almost see that, you know, doing away with yourself is the only way to fix things, which isn't the truth at all, but it's all you can truly see when you're sitting in a dark corner and you're not looking around at the light. On Sunday, before Melinda's death, the grieving mom posted about Daisy on Facebook, posting several pics and writing, quote, There aren't enough I love yous I could have said when I was holding your cold, broken, dead body. I held you like a baby anyway, my baby, the baby I held when you first came into this world. It has always been my greatest honor and joy to be your mother and best friend, Mama Bear. The whole town split up and decide Daisy against people that were very, very vicious. We started having issues with vandalism. And it was picked up in the world of social media. That's when this erupted into a firestorm. Daisy was 14 years old when she alleged in 2012 that she was sexually assaulted at a house party in Missouri after a night of drinking. We were, you know, waiting to see what was going to happen, what they were going to find in the investigation, and if anything was going to be done. So when it finally came out that it was just going to be probation. It was hard to deal with. The accusation led to a felony sexual assault charge against teenager Matthew Barnett, which was later dropped, though he pleaded guilty to a lesser charge. After the charges were dropped, it was just really one thing after another, like all the drama with the social media, and then I was getting in fights I hated going to school. I hated going out in public. I couldn't handle anymore. I wanted to fight back with everyone, and I wanted to, you know, I wanted them to believe me. He claimed their sexual encounter was consensual, and the Netflix documentary focused on the backlash Daisy and her family faced in her small town, including the cyberbullying she endured amid the case. Afterwards, with all the backlash, we started having issues with vandalism of the house. We had issues with people threatening to, to beat up the kids. I lost my job because of the case. Then we had our house burned down in Maryville. It was just really, really hard to believe. Melinda shared the news of Daisy's suicide on Facebook in August, writing in part, she was my best friend and amazing daughter. I think she had to make it seem like I could live without her. I can't. I wish I could have taken the pain from her. She never recovered from what those boys did to her. And it's just not fair. My baby girl is gone.